Hey there, it's Brett of Booster Therapy, and it marks a new month. It's August 2020, and yep, we have another giveaway. In July, we gave away a Zerzoth EDH deck complete with all the goodies. It was valued around 250 or more dollars um, with, you know, around 300 with the deck box and everything, and, well, we're doing it again. This time, I figured I'd show the commander. So we're going to give away a full commander deck of... Tatiova Benthic Druid. I'm going to be building that. It's going to be worth 200 plus dollars. It's going to have a deck box, sleeved up, everything that you would need to pull it out of the box, play, and have a lot of fun, be focused, and, well, hopefully stomp your friends. So all you have to do in this month to qualify is the same as last month. Just comment on our videos, be a subscriber, make sure you're liking the videos. At the end of the month, we're going to gather all of these comments, pick one person at random, and that person is going to get that deck. We're going to ship it to you. It doesn't matter if you're in the United States or outside of the U.S. We're going to give it to you just for watching, being a subscriber, and enjoying the content. So uh, without further ado, enjoy the video. Have a great day. Welcome back to Booster Therapy, your cure for that pack cracking addiction. We have a box for a patron, a box of Core 2021. For our patron Adam, Adam, this box is for you. Hoping to get, you know, everything good. Lots of mythics. Hopefully, some uh, some of the cool showcase ones. And it looks like this is still the Japanese print run. So we got that rare right up front, right? Yeah, token land and a foil jungle hollow. And we'll start off with the mythic right away. The Elder Gargaroth. And I think that's pretty much it. I don't think there's much else in the common uncommon. I guess the cultivate uncommons that we'll probably be on the lookout for. Swift water and solemn simulacrum, another rock solid rare. Ooh, and a scavenging ooze alternate art. I do. I love that. I love how it's two rares in a pack. So let's do this. Let's keep our mythics rares, and then we'll even keep a spot to check all of our... See how many alternate art cards we get. I'm curious how much you see in a box, typically. Ingenious Cur foil. And discontinuity. Mythic. Second mythic. We've, what have we opened, like, two packs? Man, we are on fire with this one. So we can just keep it keep it rolling here. Ah, nice little alternate art showcase swamp. And the pack leader for your dog tribal deck. Come on, Adam. Let's let's see that. Ugin to fairy. We want all the good ones. Although I still think my favorite mythic is either Elder Gargaroth or the uh, Terror of the Peaks. A foil island. And the Feline Sovereign. First we get the Pack Leader, then we get the Feline Sovereign to follow it up it's for your Dog Cat Tribal. Does anybody play Dog Cat Tribal? Is it fun? Does it work? Dismal Backwater. Ooh, mommy, yeah, <laughs> right away. Meatball. We're like two and a half minutes into this thing. Four minutes maybe with the little intro and we've already hit an Ugin. <laughs> We're three Mythics. I have barely scratched the surface of this box. I I think almost every box of Core 2021 that I have opened, I have had an Ugin. Pursued Whale, we got Moby Dick busting out of the water. All right, come on, Adam, more goods. Let's see if we can make it a crazy, like, eight mythic box since we're hitting them so early. Necromentia. I do love the artwork on this card. Also, just a powerful sideboard card if it's if the deck you're working with is like reliant on one piece for its mechanic. And I think of a lot of the sack outlets like relying on well, now it's banned the cat or the cauldron, hooded blight fang. Oop. All right, let me get another one of those scavenging news. Is that art is just awesome? Blossoming sands. And a hooded blight, blight fang foil. It's our first foil rare. And the animal sanctuary. Look at all the little animals on there. Snakes and dogs and birds. 
Everybody's there. It's a full party. All right. Rugged Highlands. For our first of the rare land cycle. Okay, I'm just a sucker for the first print run of things using that using that Japanese printer. They just feel so much better. Got our planes and Garrick's Harbinger. I honestly thought that that would see a lot more play than it's getting. The Harbinger is really good. Rugged Highlands again. And Faith's Fetters foil with the demon all wrapped up. And a fabled passage. Wonderful little fetch land. I do really enjoy the fact that that thing was already reprinted. It really just helps to keep the price down on something that's going to be, can be used across formats, which is always nice. Forest, showcase forest. And a foil sanctum of all for your shrine tribal decks. And see the truth rare. Another very, very useful rare. Oh, there we go. Here's our first cultivate. We'll put it in the pile to the side though, because we are sending all of these cards over to our buddy Adam. Ah, Liliana Wa Waker of the Dead. Those are always good. And the scavenging ooze, not alternate art. Just the just the regular one. All right, let's get another good mythic. Let's see that Teferi. Island, a foil thrashing Brontodon, and Liliana's standard bearer with some pretty fantastic artwork. Very underappreciated artwork for that one. I really want to see like the, the seven or eight mythic box. It's just hard to come by. Vito, Thorn of the Dusk Rose, very powerful rare. I think it's still worth a couple bucks, too. It's pretty good. Oop, two packs at once. Come on, Money Mythic. Let's see it. Blossoming Sands and Transmogrify. I've seen a few people using that on Historic, where it's a full token deck, just plain token cards that are not creature-based, and then transmogrifying to hit a, hit a Ulamog. Keen Glide Master Foil, and the Temple of Epiphany. Rare. Keep this going. Can't slow down now. Swiftwater Glyphs, and Chromatic Orrery, our fourth mythic of the box. One that got hyped up a ton at the release. I was never a big fan of that card. I for, I mean, it, it's good when you get it out there. It's just, I feel like there's a lot of better plays as you approach that mana cost. Sublime Epiphany, another really good rare with fantastic artwork. I'm about halfway through the box. Let's get double Ugin. I want a Ugin alternate art. Double vision, speaking of double things. Or double masters, coming soon. Or actually, it depends when this video gets put out. This video is filmed prior to double masters arriving to my house, but that doesn't mean that we don't sneak one out ahead of this. Mountain and the volcanic salvo. Beast. Planes. And the Containment Priest. Remember before that was reprinted how expensive that card had gotten up to? It was crazy. Ooh, Basri Ket. Uh, emblem. Tormod's Crypt Foil. That's a solid little foil right there. And the Primal Might. A great card for your Zaxara EDH deck. Nice little removal spell that also pumps out another Hydra for you. Bloodfell Caves. And Shacklegeist. The big 
lock. It's a weird looking card. I don't think I've ever really looked closely at the weirdness of the artwork there. Cat. And Garrick's Harbinger with the showcase. First time I saw that, I was like, oh man, it's like super faded. They they messed up the bordering, but then I found out that that was by design. It's supposed to have that kind of sun-kissed look for the green one. They all kind of have their tint, depending on which one it is. Temple of Triumph, our second temple. Not sure how excited anybody is on hitting a land cycle when it's temples, but hey, they're still useful. Standard, Commander, you can play them in Commander. You don't always have to be dual lands, right? Ooh, Basri Ket, Showcase, Mythic. Man, a full art Mythic. And it looks fantastic. I'm still betting that card gets a little bit more value added in its day. It's so good for like a Boros or a White Weenie deck, which maybe will come back now that Control has to take a back seat for a little bit. A glorious Anthem. You know what would have been nice and would have given way more fuel to the whole White Weenie concept is if instead of Glorious Anthem that was Honor the Pure, two mana all white creatures, one one instead of all creatures. That could have been a big deal. Tranquil Cove and a Foil Sabertooth Mauler and Azusa Lost But Seeking. Another amazing reprint that we are getting out of this set. Man, what a core set. It is so rare that we are treated to a standard box that is just so packed full of ridiculousness. Forest and the Spark Hunter Masticor. And we got five mythics. We got just a handful of packs left. We're almost done, Adam. Come on. Root for the magical pulse. Scream it to the top of your lungs. Island. A foil finishing blow. Some sweet artwork. And the Maze Mine Tome. What do we got? Three packs? Let's get it out of the box here. Three more packs of goodness. It's going to be Mythic out. I really wanted to hit like seven or eight Mythics. Bird. Jungle Hollow. And Idol of Endurance. Rare. Swamp. Is it a mythic? Oh, it's rare. Gadrick the Crown Scourge. A very weird way to put a ramp in a deck depending on what your mechanics are. Last pack. Good luck, Adam. Thank you again for being a patron. Thank you for always sponsoring a box. I'm going to do the peak. Okay, so the first one's a foil land, I think. Ooh, a nice foil showcase forest. That is beautiful. Those look so good. And then a peek. It's a rare. The Stormwing Entity. Nice. A nice rare to finish on. This thing has gone way up in price. I think it was like 50 cents on release, and now it's, now it's a heavy hitter. Well, Adam, thank you so much. Thank you all for watching. This is Booster Therapy. You have a wonderful rest of your day.